Hello, my name is Andy Venegas with Wilden Pump and Engineering. I've been with Wilden for 30 years. In today's demo, we want to show you the P220 pump with and without a integral surge dampener, also known as the ISD. So in the demo, what we want to do is show you some of the things that people encounter every day in the pumping industry. So those three things are going to be the pulsation, the effects of water hammer, and also piping noise. So these uh, integrated surge dampeners are going to help you to combat the effects of that. And we'll get into that demonstration now by showing you the P220 pump running without a pulsation dampener. So now we're going to run the pump. It's going to have 100 PSI of inlet air pressure versus 90 PSI of head pressure. And we're going to capture the gauge pressure here. So you'll notice the high side of the pressure and the low side of the pressure, which is about a 30 uh, PSI differential pressure. So each uh, P220 pump has a vertical port that's going to be drilled and tapped. Simply remove the one inch NPT uh, plug or one inch BSP plug for the international threads. We remove that and then we can uh, go ahead and thread in the integral surge dampener. Okay, so now that we have the pulsation dampener uh, mounted onto the manifold, we use the same air line coming off of your regulator so that it's the same pressure feeding the pump is the same pressure that's feeding the pulsation dampener. So we'll run it again now with the pressure. And now you can see that pulsation dampener. Okay, so why use a pulsation dampener? Well, three key reasons for using a pulsation dampener is one, to dampen the pulsation. What we showed you in the last demo was it gave it a more laminar flow. So it dampened that pulse from, uh, that was 30 PSI, down to about 8 PSI differential pressure. One of the other um, key benefits for using a pulsation dampener is to soften the effects of water hammer or pipe hammer. So as that pressure leaves the pipe and goes downstream, it's hit by a shutoff valve, that water pressure comes back at eight times the pressure that it left, and it does damage to it. In some, uh, some instances, what we've actually seen is the valve ball will come back and get forced into the valve seat. This is the effect of the damage caused by water hammer or pipe hammer. And the pulsation damper will dissipate that hammering effect and take that into the pulsation, into the uh, pulsation dampener. One of the other things that it does is also prevents some of the noise. So pipe noise just caused by the turbulence of the flow going around the valve balls will give you that ball chatter. The pulsation damper also helps to prevent the ball chatter in pumps.